these are what the manifold gets screwed onto. Rather than carry the manifold all the way up to the roof, the box also has a template on it. So you can actually just cut, cut the top off the box and use the marks here to position the straps under the roof. First of all, you've got to decide where the strap's going to go through. You don't really want to choose the top two tiles. Generally, the top of the tile is going to be cemented in. So if you do happen to break a tile, which is not at all impossible, that one's a very difficult to replace. And as that one's fixed, that's pretty tough as well. So pick the third tile down. You've cut off the top of the box and you've got your template. If you've got a 20 tube panel, you're going to have two marks for the two straps and the 30 tube panels are held in by three straps so you'll have a mark in the middle as well. So line up where you want to put the strap. Try and avoid for both the straps or all the straps where you've got tiles meeting such as that. If you can get it in the middle of a tile that's better and probably in a trough as well. So checking on the far side as well best position we're going to get is probably about here. So just mark off where the two marks are on your template. Okay, so we put that to one side. Now, if you're very lucky and you have the right tiles on your roof, you can sometimes slide tiles up. This makes life a lot easier. I don't know if this one's going to do it. But... Yeah. That's great. Now you can see the felting underneath. So all you need to do is line your strap up with the marks from the template and just push it straight through the felt like that and just lay it along the roof. You can now fix the strap from inside. This is probably really where you want to have a partner. If you've got somebody inside that can do this for you, all the better. If, unfortunately, you've got slates or your, your tiles don't move, all you can really do is slide the strap underneath and then with your partner inside the loft space, start tapping on the slate. Just from that they'll be able to locate where it is fairly closely. Once they're pretty close to where it is, you can put a bend in this strap. Again, push it under, and by moving like that, you're actually scraping on the underside of the felt. And hopefully, from that, your partner's gonna be able to locate where it is, put a cut in the felt, and pull the strap through and fix it. Let's say, luckily with this one, the tiles move. Find where the uh, straps have come through the roof. You're going to probably have to turn it 90 degrees. Find a good strong roofing joist and using the large black washer and the 25mm wood screw, screw it through there. Then if you've got a loose end, take it around and put another screw on that side so you've got a really good grip around the beam. If the strap doesn't come through close to one of the beams, what you need to do is cut a bit of 4x2 and screw it across the joists and then you can screw the strap onto that piece. So now we've got the straps fixed onto the joists under the roof. When you come to fix the straps onto the manifold frame, don't go to the end of the slot. If you get uh, high winds, it will move up and down. Really, you want the manifold to sit ideally on the tile above it. So you can bend the strap up underneath and have it running along down the channel there. That means if there's any wind, there's nowhere for it to move. Now, 
In the fixing kits, you'll find the long bolts, nuts and washers. These at the top, you want one through each slot and at the bottom we just put one through the slot. Take the bolt from underneath, put the washer on top and then tighten the nut down. Once you fix the top and the manifold straight, uh, you can fix the bottom straps. These go on exactly the same way. Uh, again, you don't want a big long strap which can move in the wind. So take the gap which is more or less below the fixing holes. And again, if you're lucky and the tile moves, you can just put the, the strap straight through, straight under the channel of course. And then fix the strap on the joists in the roof space just exactly the same as the top ones. If you can come straight up that way that's fine but if you don't have the space it's okay come over that way as well. Just make sure you get the strap down nice and tight like that. Again, just use one of the long fixing bolts through that hole. 